If I had painted every blade of grass that would be in that setting, the basic, say, photo that I use for reference, it would have looked like grass wallpaper. There'd be no air or space. I wanted air and space behind the, the goldfinch. And in fact, uh, if one zoomed in close and looked closely at around the goldfinch, it's just sort of, just kind of nothing there. It's just kind of smudges. And you could imagine if I had all the, the kind of detail, such as it is, only up by the goldfinch, the goldfinch would look like it's glued to grass wallpaper. So uh, I'm after the air in the grass, and I'm, I'm after a feeling that maybe a mouse could go running through the grass. And of course, when you look down into the grass, you see, uh, looking down, you see more particularity of dark shadows into it. It's just kind of like looking into water if you're standing on a beach, but looking across, it all kind of blends in more softly. Every single item in that picture has been orchestrated to be just the way I want it. Uh, as opposed to coleslaw, which is what it would be if I just copied a photograph of grass and Queen Anne's lace and goldenrod, it would be blah, 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 blah. Well, I want to sort of orchestrate it. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. And then here and there, say with the Queen Anne's lace, you go, ba bum ba bum ba bum bum with a kind of a rhythm. Even the ones going off the edge are going off the edge on purpose. I created the only bright yellow in the picture besides the goldfinch as the goldenrod down at the bottom, hoping that you would feel like the gold, goldfinch is hovering kind of above the goldenrod. Um, I uh, save my uh, black, my full black and white, like an ace in a card game. If white is zero and black is 10, I almost never play uh, zero and I almost never play 10. The only real black is obviously in the goldfinch's forehead and a few of the little shadows in the feathers. The white of the, which is shown on the goldfinch is whiter than the white in the Queen Anne's lace. And the only pink in the whole picture is the pink on the goldfinch's beak and legs, which again is unique and makes it pop off more.